Привет всем любителям. Hello to all MMA fans. Alexandra Abramova is here with you, and you're watching the first issue of the Sport Life program of the 2022 on the MMA TV.com TV channel. Новый год и New Year began with really high-profile events, which we will definitely tell you about now. Why do I say we? Because today I want to introduce you to my colleague, expert and the host of the TV channel MMA-TV.com, Marshal Savchuk. Hi, Marshal. Greetings, dear friends. Well, let's discuss the most high-profile events that have occurred in the 17 days that have passed since the beginning of January. And what's on our agenda? And we will start, of course, with the best news. What could be better than winning? Only the victory in the debut along with the bonus of the evening. All this happiness was given to us by our compatriot Vyacheslav Barshov at the UFC, which was held quite recently. Yes, it was such a powerful blow that literally brought a bright victory to our compatriot, because Dakota Bush was simply unable to continue the fight. By the way, this double punch was spread through all over the web, and very widely. And even Dana White himself noticed this case. And in addition, I remember a wonderful dance that began with a characteristic Slavic style and ended with a light variation of Lizginka. The most important thing is our compatriots, boxers clearly claim for something completely unique, like a place under the sun in the leading organization of the world, UFC. In addition to the successful debut of Vyacheslav Burchell, which we have already talked about, another fighter, Sagid Zagokmaev, distinguished himself. His record is 22. Despite the fact that we will not talk about him like a debutant of the 1FC organization, it is still difficult to call him a newcomer. Yes, it is very difficult. Well, let's rejoice why. Because in the Asian world, 1FC is a leading organization, that is our ACA which successfully does this, and a number of the organizations can possibly compete with it. Therefore, there is a significant victory. We can only rejoice and know that not only Khabib is strong and successful in Khabib's team. However, it is pity that Khabib Nurmagomedov could not attend the debut of his student in the organization, who defeated James Nakashima with a successful chokehold. Unfortunately, Khabib Nurmagomedov tested positive for coronavirus, so he stayed at the hotel. We will be sympathetic. After all, it is a very popular topic today. You can't get away from it. The next news is not so joyful anymore. This is the defeat of our almost compatriot Georgian Giga Chikadze. Giga unfortunately lost. He lost with dignity in a five-round fight also at the UFC tournament. He still remains in the top ten of his weight. Maybe it's not so scary. Yes, after all, he won his last three fights. And there were really big bets on him, because Kevin Carter did not do well last year, literally lost one fight and then disappeared for a whole year. Nothing was heard of him. Therefore, we wish Giga Chikaze to cheer up, he will still be able to rehabilitate himself and I am sure in the nearest future. And to the next news. Komarjoba, sunny Georgia. Recently, not only a large number of Western organizations and promotions such as UFC, Belator, which have already been marked by events here, but also agency organizations are starting starting to enter the Russian market. Many of them represent the Atlas themselves in this most Western, Eastern and some other world organizations. Recently, Murat Kurbanov signed up. He turned out to be the first from Russia to sign a contract with Anthony Pettis promotion, Showtime promotion. This is a big event for a very simple reason. This is an indicator that our market has finally become interesting for the Western audience. And there are people who are willing to invest in Russian Atlas to promote that further and further. And one more news from the world of big sports is that the world boxing champion Tyson Fury calls Francis Ngannou to fight. Actually calls him, of course, not according to the rules that are possible in mixed martial arts. But as a boxing match, it's very simple to explain. Recently, more and more athletes have been trying to switch to boxing. Why? Because there has historically been a lot of more money. And Francis Ngannou, as many of you probably know, originally planned to become a boxer. And under the influence of his coach, he passed away in mixed martial arts, who knows, perhaps as an intermediate. And now he will perform again in the very favorite and much-desired boxing. What can come of it? It's a great show. Well, we can only look forward to the development of all these events and stories, and I'm more than sure that it will be interesting.
Marshall, thank you very much for this interesting conversation. I look forward to seeing you again next Thursday. Well, and I will be waiting for the opportunity to meet with you, dear friends. Thank you. Meanwhile, our voting within the framework of the MMA-TV.com Awards 2021 is in full swing. The winners will be announced in February, but in the meantime, we will announce the interim results. According to the results of January 15th, we can name the following leaders. Alexei Shurkevich confidently broke away from his rivals in the battle for the first place in the nominations Fighter of the Year and Knockout of the Year. The second favorite of the contest Fighter of the Year is Sergei Pavrushev. In the Knockout of the Year category, Viktor Kolesnik is following the leader. Maria Artukina leads her rivals also in two nominations, Fighter of the Year in the Women's Division and Submission of the Year. Oleg Papov is catching up with Artukina in this category. In the second case, she overtakes her rival Yulia Ostroyarkova, who takes second place. The fight between Alexander Podmarov and Ruslan Medvedev, which took place on May 29 at the 33rd Super Event of Barbie Luxury, is in the leaders of the voting in the nomination Fighter of the Year. They are followed by the fight of Sergei Barbershev and Alexander Balaur, held at MMA Series 37 on July 24. The most successful debutant of the year, according to the viewers at the moment, is Diana Vorobyova. These are the interim results of voting within the framework of the MMA-TV.com Awards 2021. We remind you that you can still support your favorite fighter by giving him your vote on the MMA-TV.com website and change the situation in his favor. On January 29, the MMA Series 47 tournament will open the new season at the Triumph Sport Palace in Liberty. Zohar Hujibabai of Sergei Babrushev and Landerle Jr., who are already familiar to us, will take part in it. But today we will talk in more detail about other participants of the card. 48 years old heavyweight Maxim Vasilov, nicknamed Shatun, is the champion of Europe in combat sambo and mixed martial arts. He is widely and scandalously known not only in fighting circles but also in the Russian blogging sphere. In the Atlas career, an intriguing past and an unrestrained desire to develop in sports are closely intertwined. A native of an ordinary working-class family first tried his hand at the youthful yard showdown, then professionally became interested in combat sambo. After serving in Nagorno Karabakh, where Max Star recruits the basics of survival in combat, the athlete got into underground fights. He was invited to Japan, where he received the nickname Mad Max. At the moment, his record is 22-4-1, where most of the victories were achieved by technical knockouts. Fights with the participation of the pop MMA star Maxim Novoselov are distinguished by their entertainment and rigidity, so we will look forward to his performance in our octagon. It was the Sport Life program and its host Alexandra Abramova. See you on the air of the TV channel MMA-TV.com next Thursday.